year 4-H program assistant for the South Point Extension District and May 1st is quickly approaching or better known as May Day. So I have a few craft ideas here if you'd like to celebrate May Day with you and your family and the kids in your life. Um, May Day historically has been known as sort of the break between the dark part of the year and the light. So just celebrating the sunshine and the warm weather and the seasonal change. Uh, quick tradition with May Day is creating treats that can be with flowers and also sweets that you anonymously drop off at neighbors doors or people that you just care about to help brighten up their year for that transition into lighter better weather. So to begin with our first craft idea is just making a simple little basket or type cone and this is just recycled cardstock y'all know by now I like to recycle as many things as that we have around here in the office or what you have at your house so just making it into a cone shape you can use um, staples or tape and just make sure that it is secure to that point and then on this one I just took markers and decorated it with different flowers I also took more cardstock and made a handle out of it because it's no fun to have an empty cone or basket. We need to fill it with some treats. The first treat that I have here is I just cut out some flower shapes, layered it to where it looks like it has a couple petals. You can take a marker and curl that up to give a little bit more dimension, make it a little bit more 3D. But as the center of the face of my flower, I actually have a hard candy, a butterscotch that I just glued on there. So you get something pretty, but also a sweet treat. And I made a stem, and you can cut out the flowers however you would like, and you can insert it into your basket. You can make this as full or um, different types of flowers as well. So you be sure to fill that up. Since it has a handle, you can hang it on a doorknob. Our next craft over here is a different version of a flower bouquet. It's actually a flower bouquet, um, bou wreath, excuse me, that I just took a paper plate and cut out the center of it. So I just have the edge and just use colored uh, printer paper. You can use construction paper, cardstock, and cut out different shapes of flowers, drew on a face, made a handle, and you have a paper flower wreath. The last flower that I have is the typical um, paper pom-pom flower that you can put into your basket. It's relatively simple. You just need some gift tissue paper, which I cut into square shapes, and I have about 16 or 20 in this stack. You want it pretty full to make it look um, like a complete flower, and then you're just going to accordion fold it. So back and forth, back and forth. And then take scissors, you're just gonna round off the edges, which I have already done on each side. And then I'll use my example here. You take green, like a pipe cleaner or some floral wire, and you wrap it around the middle of it. So it'd be right here where you pinch it. And then you're just going to start fluffing it out. And the more layers you have, the more time this will take. So it's okay, um, don't try to use too much force though or you will tear all your paper and you want to keep it um, relatively full. But as you keep fluffing, you'll eventually get a flower that looks like that. And that is just a one-sided flower I could put in my basket, but my smaller version here I have one that's a little bit more full and all the way around. But I hope you and the kids and your family celebrate May Day soon so you can spread a little bit of seasonal cheer. But we will catch you next time. Bye.